What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and in today's The Division video, I wanted to give you my initial impressions of Update 1.5. Oh wait, this just in, Massive has delayed the launch of 1.5 on PS4 for several days, better known as To Be Announced. I will never be able to fully understand this delay for differing consoles, and I know many of you have read that Massive delayed the PS4 launch of 1.5 due to the fact that they wanted to test the bugs and make sure it was fully ready to go, as if they had our best interest in mind. And that was a fine press release, but we here in the real world, we have our own minds, and we can see right through that smoke screen. How can 1.5 be ready for PC and Xbox a full 30 days before arguably what is your biggest community, which is PS4? Wouldn't you want to serve that biggest and potentially your most lucrative console community by having the latest updates ready for them at least at the same time as both Xbox and PC? My friends, it isn't that it isn't ready or that they wanted to test and patch the PS4 bugs prior to launch and don't you believe that for a second. It comes down to one thing and one thing only, money. The almighty greenbacks, dineros, pesos, pounds, marks, or whatever they are called in your home country. Plain and simple, this is a licensing agreement made behind closed doors to allow Microsoft an edge when it came to new content and when that content can and will be launched. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not mad at my Xbox and PC brethren for getting to play Update 1.5 and Survival a full 30 days before me because that's how the dev shows release this latest update and enjoy it my friends. What I am truly disappointed in is the fact that us PS4 players were lied to. Does anybody remember back months ago when in a state of the game address, Hamish and Yannick apologized for the delay that PS4 players were forced to endure while the latest update was being launched on both Xbox and PC? Remember that it was 30 days? Any of this ring a bell? Well, in that state of the game address, they both stated that PS4 players would never have to wait 30 days again for updates and that all consoles and PC players would receive future updates at the same time. Fast forward from that address to present day and here we PS4 players are again waiting 30 days for an update that has gone live for both Xbox and PC. Massive Studios a word of advice, and I'm not going to blame your chosen mouthpieces of Yannick and Hamish as they are simply passing along what you want them to say, but don't lie to your loyal community and tell us the delay is needed to test and patch bugs and that we PS4 players will never be forced to sit through another imposed 30 day delay while other players on other consoles and PC get to enjoy the latest content while we wait. We all paid the same money for our game. I didn't see any licensing stamps on my game when I bought it stating that my console was excluded from the latest content and that Xbox and PC players were more deserving of the latest content than I was. I want to challenge Massive to come out and just spill the beans and tell us the truth, man. You made a deal, you made extra money, and that PS4 and Sony weren't part of that deal. I could live with that instead of this bullshit your puppets are dropping on us every week in the State of the Game address. As always, I would appreciate your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my The Division videos in your life, follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. I will be taking the rest of the week off for Thanksgiving and will be back on and posting videos next week. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. Have a safe and happy Thanksgiving, everybody. And remember for my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Peace out.